Hey everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a simple lead generation funnel in WordPress absolutely free. A typical lead generation funnel consists of the following three steps. A person visits your landing page where they're offered some value. In return, they have to opt in. Once they opt in, they go to a thank you page where they're given instructions on how to access this free resource. And at the same time, right after the opt-in an automated email is sent out with instructions on how to access this resource so this resource could be a pdf file they can download or maybe a course they can enroll to for free or maybe some sort of guidance that you're sending out to them okay it could be many things that you want to offer uh, to collect the leads and this whole process this simple process can be created uh, in wordpress easily to do so you'll need two specific plugins one is WP Funnels the basic version or its free version? And two, MailMint also its basic or free version. And both of these together can work for you to create this simple lead generation funnel. And the combination of these two plugins will let you create this simple uh, funnel journey quite easily and help you collect leads without any extensive costs. So let's see how you can do that. Now, before I start creating it, let me tell you the steps I will follow. First, I'll create an opt in form in MailMint. Okay. Second, I'll create a two-step lead generation funnel in WP Funnels. Third, I'll place the mail means opt-in form onto the landing page of WP Funnels. You don't have to do uh, any back and forth or drop any short code. They integrate quite well and I'll show you how. And fourth, I'll create an automation workflow uh, in MailMint so that whenever someone submits that form, an automated email is sent out. Okay. And uh, this is going to be really simple. Uh, it doesn't take much time. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm on MailMint's dashboard. I have MailMint and WB Funnels. For both of them, I have the free version installed and activated. Now, as I said, the first thing to do is to create an opt-in form. So I'm going to go to Forms, and here I'm going to create a new form. Now, here you'll get options to choose some templates, or you can create one from scratch. So uh, I'm just going to create one from scratch. So once you're here, what you can do is first name the form. So I'll say opt-in for lead gen. And here I'll assign it to a tag or a list, basically where this context will be added in MailMint. So I'm just going to create a new list over here. Region one. It's simple. You just type it in and click on add list and this new list will be generated. And this means that whenever someone submits this form, they'll be added to this specific list in MailMint. Now, these are the basic uh, two fields that you must have in the form. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another name field. So now this form builder is actually a Gutenberg form builder. So everything works the same way you do using Gutenberg. Okay. Uh, instead of calling it first name, I'm just going to call it uh, your name. Okay. So that's what I want. I just want to collect the name and the email. Now, obviously I want to design it. So let me just select all of this and group it into one. And then I'll go and assign a background color. Now I have a color code that I want to use as background, which is this one. So I'll be using that. There you go. And for the button, I want to customize it as well. So I'll go to button style. Uh, I'll make it a full width button. And then let me assign it a background color. So for this, I have another color code, which is this one. Uh, I'll be using this as the button color. And there you go. I think that's just about it. Uh, I'm happy with this form and this is the one I want to use on my landing page. So I'm going to publish this and just to make sure I'm going to ensure that the form type is default. If you choose pop up, then this will appear as pop up on the page. So I'll just choose default. And once this is ready, now let's move on to the next step, creating a two step funnel in WP funnels. So what I'll do is I'll go to WP funnels and open the funnels window. And I haven't created any funnels here yet because this is our test site. So I'm just going to click on create your first funnel and you can see I have some uh, options to choose templates or I can create one from scratch. So for this case, let me just use one of our templates. Let's import this one. And there you go. You can see this is a two step funnel, a simple uh, two steps journey. And since this is the template, the pages are already designed. So what I'm going to do is just for the sake, I'm just going to show you the basics so that you know how to configure it. And when you create your funnel, you have to update the content and the design to match your brand. Now on the landing page, if you click on the edit icon, it's going to open up in the edit mode of the page. 
I'm using Elementor so it's opening up in Elementor edit mode. If you're using some other page builder like Gutenberg or maybe DV, it's going to open up in that edit mode for that page builder. Now on this page, what you will need is you need to use our widget opt-in form. Uh, on the left side, on the widget area, if I scroll down, you'll see that I have the opt-in form. You'll find the same in DV as a module or uh, in Bricks as a widget or in Gutenberg as a block. All of them, uh, if you just look for the opt-in form, you'll find it. Okay. So this is the one that has to be used and on this template this is already dropped this is an opt-in form if you see this is an opt-in form and this is the one that you need to have on your page at least uh, to make this work now i'm not going to use this default opt-in form that the template has i'm going to use the one that i have on mailmate so to do that once you uh, after dropping the opt-in form if you click on the edit opt-in form option uh, you will see there is this option called opt-in form source so here change it from wp funnels to mailmate and what this will do is this is gonna load uh, one of the forms that you create in mailmint i've just created one so this is the only one that is selected if there were more there will be more options there now as you can see this is the form i created a minute ago and this has been loaded here so now this form is placed on my landing page and people can opt in and as per the settings i said in mailmint whenever they opt in they're going to be added to a specific list in mailmint and the data will be collected in mailmint right so once this is ready, I'm just going to click on publish. And if I go back to the canvas and preview this page, you can see I have my opt-in form placed on my landing page. Uh, obviously, you have to improve the content here to match what I'm offering. But let's say what I'm offering is this marketing guide that I'll be sending them via email once they opt in. Okay. Now, after the opt-in, what's going to happen? Are they just going to you know, sit on this page? No, I'm going to take them to a thank you page. If I look at the thank you page, you can see that there is this page where uh, I've said that your guide is on the way to your inbox. And then you can see that there is some content here. Gift is for you. You can get a discount using this coupon if you buy it from my website. So you can add some other offers on this page, you know, to make it more convenient to your funnel. If you have some service to offer, you can offer it here. If you have some other affiliate products, you can mention them here on the thank you page. But make sure that you're letting them know that this is going to go to their inbox or to their email. So this journey is ready. Now let's move on to the last step, which is creating the automation workflow for your form. Now let me go back to the mail mint window that I had open and let me go to the automations menu on the left side and let me create a new automation. Here you can see that you have options to import some of the automation recipes. So these are basically predefined uh, steps or journey for the automation. But let me create one from scratch. So if I create one from scratch, first let me name it. So lead gen email and then i'll assign a starting point so if i click on this i have many options here but on the free version uh, you'll only get the form submitted starting point uh, or the trigger so if i choose this one this will let me choose for which form this uh, automation should be triggered so let me select the one i created and now i can define an automation journey for this leads whoever has opted in if i click on plus i, I can define the actions i want to imply I can you know assign them to more tags or lists other than the one i've assigned in the form i can set up a time delay maybe let's say i want them to get the email after one minute or five minutes or maybe a day or, or i can just simply send out an email so let me choose that and here what i can do is i can define the email prerequisites such as the sender email reply email uh, the subject line so let me just rewrite the subject line here's your free guide to become an expert okay i can choose the preview text as well and then i can design my email over here as well so you can see there are several templates you can use so let me just uh let's say use this template okay and on this email uh what i'll do is on this button i'm gonna link to download that uh specific uh guide that i'm sending so let's say download your free guide now and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link that guide into this button right over here so that whenever they get this email, they click on this button and the guide uh, will be downloaded. And I can customize this email however I want. And once I'm ready, I'm just going to save this and then click on next. And it will take me back to the automation workflow after saving the email. So now my lead generation funnel is almost ready. So let me click on start workflow. And this means this automation is now ready to go. So Next, let us look at this funnel in action. So let me go to the WB Funnels 
canvas where I created this two-step funnel and uh, let me copy the link uh, to this page and let me open this in a new incognito window and there you go this is the landing page I had and uh, obviously you have to improve this copy but let's go ahead and you know submit an opt-in so let me just write my name and here I'll be using a dummy email. So let's say Sultan CS at codrex.co. Okay. And let me just submit. So as you can see, the form has been submitted and I have been redirected to the thank you page. And here you can see it says that uh, my guide is on the way to inbox. Now let me go back to my site. Now let me go to mail means contacts. And here you can see that I just submitted this form and my name has been added uh, and my email has been added and it has been added to the list lead gen one. Okay. Now if I go to automations, you can see that there has been one automation trigger and I can look at the stats. It has been triggered once and the email is yet to be sent. It takes about five to 10 seconds for the email to be sent. Now I've waited 10 seconds. Let me just reload this and view the stats. And there you go. You can see one email has been sent out. Now, since this is a test site, this email will not actually go to my inbox, but I'm going to show it to you in my email logs. I have Fluent SMTP on the site and I can show you the email log that has been created. Let me go to settings and Fluent SMTP and let me go to email logs. And you can see this is the email that was supposed to be sent. It says it's failed because I haven't allowed it to be sent out, but this is the email. You can see the subject line. Here's your free guide. Uh, it has been sent just a few moments ago when I, uh, you know, opted in. Okay. So that's it. That's how easily you can create this simple lead generation funnel in WordPress absolutely free. And all you will need is the free versions of WP funnels and MailMe to create it. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my future videos. Take care.